Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorials on Affinity Photo and using image brushes. Well, creating a brush from a brush. Now, the first thing to do, I'm just going to remove all this. Or probably best to just create a completely fresh document. And I'm just going to go for there. Create. So, completely fresh document and how to create brush stroke. So, just go to a layer and then a new layer. Really useful. What you can do, you can also go to, of course, the brush itself. And what I'm using is watercolors. So I'm going to use watercolors. You could use any of the others. You could use ink, you could all, but I'm just going to go with watercolors. I'm going to choose one of them, one of these ones. And if I apply it just here, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to set the color and just apply very quick like that. Any sort of design, you could create all kinds of different. I'm going to go for a more circular design, so, but I'm going to use multiple colors. And this is all going to be applied to layers. If you can't see that, go to View and Studio, Brushes, Color and Layers. They're the useful ones for this tutorial. So pixel layer and simply just apply it. And of course, you could obviously vary all the settings as well, but that was the default one for that particular brush. I'm just going to quickly apply it like that. Now I'm going to change the color again. I'm going to go with blue. Apply it around the edge like that. And maybe with yellow. You can apply all different kinds of colors. And you can vary, obviously, the, around the edge how it goes. You can add black into it if you want. Maybe add it there. Anyway, you've got sort of design there. And you, of course, create all kinds of different designs. This is obviously just a quick design that I've just created. Now, what I'm going to do, just got, you can see it's now a layer. I can just hold down the Alt or Option key and duplicate that design if I want to. So you can create some very interesting, colorful designs simply by doing that. However, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is go up to Select, Select Menu, and Selection from Layer. You're on a layer, and this is, I'm selecting from this layer. And you can see what happens, it generates this selection. Once you've done that, you can go to Brushes, and now you could change the category. I'm not doing that, I've got them, just added them to watercolors. They are obviously a watercolor brush, it's created from a watercolor. So I'm just gonna go to the right side menu, and New Brush from Selection. Now, what you can do then, and I'm just gonna quickly Deselect that, and I'm going to remove that layer. Now it does mean I've got no layer there, so I need to create a new layer. So I've got a new layer, otherwise I just can't apply a brush stroke. So with this brush, I can do I can double click, and you can then modify it. So you can go for spacing, so you can make a sort of very intense look, a bit like a stick of rock. So if you go to the uh, Seaside, you end up in the UK anyway. I don't know in uh, in America, but in stick of rock in the UK, it looks like that anyway. Also, what you can do, you can obviously modify some of these other settings if you want. You can, if you want, change the rotation. You can also go to dynamics and you can change the size jitter. So you can create some, and you can vary it here. You've got this lovely panel here, you can change the profile. You can see you can create some very unusual shapes. Sadly, you can't just generate a design from this design. It'd be lovely because you create some really wonderful designs and then you think, oh, it'd be nice if I could just capture that three-dimensional design. You can see the sort of designs you can create using this. However, I'm not gonna go with that one. I'm just gonna go with the standard straight line profile. But I just wanted to point out you can change it. Also, what you can do, you can modify some of these other settings if you want to, you can go hue jitter, so you can see different colors there. But I don't want that in this one. I'm just gonna go straight away, initially work with that. And again, what I'm gonna do, I've got to just quickly check. Yeah, I've got my layer there. And again, go to the brush tool, it's over there. And I would suggest maybe change the size slightly. Yeah, it looked a bit big. Maybe still a bit too big. And you can see, actually you make a very big brush. It sort of ends up being quite slow and sluggish. You can see you can create some very interesting designs. 
long as you don't stop. If, as soon as you stop, you end up with this sort of, the, obviously that central bit appearing. But it's all on a layer, so you can always, if you want to, you can always just move it. Also, what you can do if you want to, you can always go to up here, you've got the brush tool again, let's go to the brush, there's good old symmetry. So you can go to symmetry there, and I'm just going to increase that a bit. This is all along the top bar, and you can see your design there. And you can use also mirror it as well if you want. But you can see then you can create some very abstract designs using the brush brush. Anyway, just wanted to point that out. Don't have to do it, you don't have to use symmetry. Because what I want to do next is I'm going to go and create a brush. And this is all, oh, I've got a layer, no layer again now. Layer and new layer. And I just want to add very, new, I don't want, I want it nice and flowing. So, yeah, something like that. But a few slight errors there. But you can see the general sort of approach. Just apply it very quickly. And you've got your design. All kinds of designs can be crazy. But I just want something very, yeah, that's what I want. Want that. And that's applied to a layer. It's got this nice sort of, and then shrinking off to there. So what you can then do, again, select, selection from layer. And you can see, hopefully it will do it right. I've had it done in running through and tests. Sometimes it ends up selecting all over the place or just selects weirdly something else. Don't know why. However, so with that, what you can do, you can then go to brushes and then you can go over here. Going down to there, new brush and selection. Now you might not you might not need to do the selection. It's quite possible that you could just run that without, but um, I like to do it with selection. Just to, as it says, from selection, I'm using the selection. So just add it there. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna deselect that. That layer, I'm just going to remove that layer and just add a new layer. <laughs> Bit of a workaround, I know, but uh, now I've got this brushes and then go to the brush tool again. But I don't want that brush because I could just apply it just like this. And you, oops, that's the old one. Select that one, and you can see that design, which is fine. However, you will notice there is a slight issue there. And I'm just going to, the blend mode is set. To there, what normal, what normal for the brush? For some, because you've got to, if you go to one of these ones, you'll notice that quite often if you select them, it goes to multiply. It's one of the multiply ones. Well, of course, the new brush ends up being multiply as well. What I want is normal. So if you've got multiply, I think it's probably best with this to go for normal. Double click there, and then what you can do, general. Don't set blending mode, so it uses the whatever the blending mode is. So if you've got multiply or darken, it will use that. That's why it's not set there. You can set it to be forced to be normal. So I'm just going to keep that. And you can vary the size if you want there. And you can also modify the spacing so you can make it lovely flowing. But also what you can do, you can go to the dynamics and again change the size gesture if you want. But you can also mode it's got a bit more structure this time instead of just a circle design you can actually have a rotation you can see what you can get there and also if you want you can actually go hue jitter personally I, I like this lovely orange design there you can modify the saturation if you want as well or luminosity so you can get a sort of lovely see blacks whites and oranges there actually i'm going to go with that on and also if you want you can go with scatter so you can scatter it, makes it bigger, or you can use the X direction as well. And you can also modify the flow if it wants to do it, which personally I generally never do, I must admit, or the accumulation. Generally, I keep that closed. Now I'm just going to reduce the size a bit. I'm just going to go with about there so it doesn't go so big. And you can see the design there. So you can create all kinds of very abstract designs, which is slightly different from the obviously the watercolor brush that it started from. You can see all kinds of amazing designs can be created. And this is one, this one I created earlier. So I'll just select that. You can see 
another similar sort of design. This one's actually got a bit of ah, strain. It's, it's got a bit of fight. Anyway, there's obviously a setting there that makes it uh, sort of see through that. You can see all kinds of different designs can be created using like that. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo, Photoshop, and many others. Critter, illustrator, painter, and others. Also, if you've got any comments, please let me know. Always appreciate it. Just put some things saying, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? Things maybe I could have done better. Please let me know. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Always adding enough every day. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.